Seca Sprint GT is imported by Red Dragon Automotive. This one's a race car, but an SVA friendly version is on the cards. And check out this unusual engine installation. It's a Subaru Impreza unit, complete with turbo. This is the fantastic T70 from Gardner Douglas. It's a real mid-engine supercar. Lovely, simple interior, as you can see here. And out back, they can offer anything from the range of amazing American LS engines. These are huge power. This is the new Silver Mojo from Silver Auto Kits. And it features not only a revised bodywork, but also a revised chassis and suspension package, taking in many of the improvements made on the uh, smaller Silver Riot. A much smoother new back end is a great improvement on this major, which I think finally is really coming together. This amazing creation is a Blizzard Dakar, which is imported into the UK from Australia by Rhino Buggies. The bodywork's all steel and it dropped onto a Nissan Patrol chassis. This is the Matea from Adrenaline Motorsports. It uses a fiberglass monoclock chassis. Underneath that, you'll find all the suspension and engine package from a Subaru Impreza. That's got to mean big power. And check out this radical interior. The Matea certainly looks interesting. Rather more old school is the beautiful Crendon 427. Lots of period details in here. Under the bonnet, a stroked Ford small block engine delivering over seven litres and big power. Now Donington isn't only about the cars in the, in the main exhibition hall. Outside there's also lots of action, with on a Saturday the opportunity to jump in some of the manufacturer's cars and sample them on the track for yourself. Here's the Z Cars Mini getting ready to give someone a fright. It was one of the fastest cars on the track. And here's a GTM Libra, beautiful car as always. This Tiger Avon was another car giving regular rides to people throughout the day. And it was great to see not one, but two Tonic R's out on the track all day long. This one being powered by a bike engine, the other by a Ford Duratec. Great stuff. And the action at Donington wasn't only limited to the circuit. On Donington's dedicated 4x4 course, the Dakar boys were doing fun runs all day long. This Range Rover based kit is a serious performer and was completely unfazed by Donington's quite challenging course. Now Donington's club area has really grown in recent years. This was a terrific display by the Westfield boys. The Italian Replica Club also made a great effort. And let's finish with a few privately owned Ultimas. Well, we can always dream, can't we?